Welcome to my humble abode. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm Photo Dave, and this is Toy Picks, a channel dedicated to helping you and helping me get a whole lot better at our action figure photography. So, if that sounds cool to you, go ahead and click subscribe. Now, in today's video, we're not getting too nuts, we're not getting too crazy. I'm just inviting you into the back room so you can see what all I've got going on when it comes to moving back into my old new place? I don't know. Even I'm confused. But before we go on with the video, remember to click the link in the video description below to go to Entertainment Earth and get 10% off all in-stock items plus free shipping if you spend $39 or more. The link is ee.toy slash toypick. So like I said, video description, check it out. Especially, you know, if you're in the mood to spend money on cool stuff. Anywho, let's get to the tour. All right, starting the tour right here. Nothing too crazy, got a bookcase. I'm not gonna try to show the floor too much because the floor's, well, the floor is kind of a disaster right now. This used to be an office space. I, a friend of mine worked with me and we have so many folders and binders and all kinds of stuff that people just don't use anymore that I'm gonna have to figure out how to get rid of, but it's a literal pile I'm gonna be having to walk around, but I digress. I grew up in the California and Nevada area when I was younger, obviously, that's when you grow up. So I was a big fan of the 49ers, Montana, Locke, Craig, Jerry Rice, all those guys. Got my little mini shrine set to them. Gotta love the McFarlane figures even back then. Now, as we move over this way, we come across the physical media. There's not a lot there. In fact, I think the newest thing I have there is probably a Deadpool DVD. Nothing crazy there at all. Well, I mean, except Deadpool. But obviously, I either need to load up on a little more physical media or I need to just be happy with a whole lot of streaming. I don't know. One of my problems is I don't like things that take up a lot of space. And as much as I enjoy physical media, as much as I enjoy just owning something and never having it taken away, it takes up space. So we'll see what the future holds with that. Next, as I try to maneuver around the floor, I'm a big fan of exercise. I do like to do that. I think it's important. So I've got my little weight bench here. Little weight bench. I'm not a very big dude, so I can get away with just this. Got the plates there, got this. I don't even know. I almost never use that ball except just to sit on things. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That basically stays there until I need to use the bench, but we'll see. And then just a bar. Don't worry, I'm not actually that weak. I'm just doing many reps in the current cycle of training. Yes, kids, training. And then a little on the floor because I've got some of my stuff for lighting and all that good stuff down there because I just don't know where to put it yet. And now walking over the bench, we've got all kinds of drawers here with parts like over there's the Cobra pieces, over here's the Joe pieces, we got Prime and Bumblebee, don't know where they're gonna finally end up. We've got stuff in this bin, Galactus stuff and those figures there, the parts that go to them. And then various other stuff. I've got troop builders here. This is a funny thing my sister gave me for Christmas. You roll those and then you do however many reps or whatever of the thing you get. It's, it's not fun. Not enjoyable. So more troop builders here. Let's see. Spawn figures are in there. We've got more troop builders here. And then various dio things. Stuff that I'll use to build stuff even. Some effects right there all kinds, all kinds of stuff. Just kind of trying to organize as I go. Then we end up with the table. This is actually probably where I'll be doing all kinds of reviews and all that good stuff. You've got my funny veil, kind of just my goofier characters that I want to start adding into the collection just to have a little more fun with everything. And so having those there makes me happy. I loves me some plunderlings. I loves me that spring. 
I've had Dino, the Ember Collection Velociraptor. I named him Dino. I've had him along with a madcap hat in my collection for several years now. He's just fun. He just, it's not that he's an insanely fun figure on his own, although he's a great, really well done Velociraptor toy. But adding that hat and giving him the beer and just making him his own little weird character has been a lot of fun for me. I've got my two little Niwer lights here, lighting them up, showing off what's going on there. And then we've got the actual desk where I do the work. So I try to keep it pretty clean as much as possible. I'm not really that guy. I'm trying to get better at it, you know, keeping things organized and clean. Down here, that's an old Mac, like probably 2009, 2011, and that's how old most of my software is, too. I'm not somebody that keeps up like I should be, but clearly I've got to do that. I'm working on getting a new computer right now to make editing and all that other stuff a lot more easy, a lot faster. So we've got here some mugs, some Prime, some various stuff. And then, the last part of the whole thing, again, I've got to get rid of stuff, and I think I've got to get rid of that whole table, including that printer, so I have other places to put things, like my lighting equipment. And then we've got, in the closet, more storage space. We've got my big diode that you guys see quite a bit in the photos. We've got Serpentor's air chariot, because it won't fit in those shelves that I showed you before. Got a little tree. Got a bot. What is that? Oh, that's Mikey, because who doesn't love Mikey? I've got, that's an art bin, I do some graphic stuff, and I learned my degree was actually in painting and drawing, so I still have a lot of that stuff. Got my reflector there, still have more of that dio. Then we have more dio accessories there. Then down there we've got cords and various other things that I might need for lights. And finally here in these... Right down here, we've got the Mothex, the SHF, the 3-0, the G.I. Joes. This is kind of where my figure collection hides out at, because there's just not a whole lot of room to build shelves or set up detoffs yet. I'm, I'm working on it. And then, last but not least, again, because I just don't know where to put him, we've got the big G. He deserves a place of honor. I'm just not sure where that place is going to be just yet. And folks, that's the tour. That is the entire back room. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the back room, the studio, the place where I do all the things. Comment below and let me know if you'd like to see it when I kind of get it finalized, when it's set up. When there's not a bunch of stuff I have to dodge when it comes to the floor, because there was a lot of dodging. It's no good at all. And make sure you're following Toy Picks on Twitter, which is just Toy Picks, T O Y P I X X. That way, when I post up the link for this video there, you can comment below with maybe your studio setup so I can see what you've got going on. Because it's always cool to see how everybody else has their stuff displayed. Because frankly, I don't really have much of a display. I like to see yours. Anywho. That's all I've got for this one. Hope you enjoyed the tour, and until next time, have fun, and happy snapping. See ya.